The Legend of Korra reactions are 10 episodes ahead on our Patreon and in full length. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the Cruz Brothers, Brothers React. Back for another Korra episode, guys. You already know what time it is. Last episode was a little slow. So hopefully we get picked up back up in this episode um, and have some good, interesting stuff to look forward to in this season. So let's get into the episode and see what happens. Here we go. The war between the northern, northern and the southern tribe. Damn, they're, they're putting martial law on the Southern Tribe, bro. Fuck, bro. Damn, yo. It's, like it's martial police. law on the Southern Tribe, that's it. With both portals open, our tribes will be united again. That's what I'm saying. The He's really trying to unite them. The world, what are you talking about the world? I thought it was just a northern and southern thing. connection to the world. This guy's really just on vacation. <sighs> That's another interesting thing that we found out for a fact. Yes, last episode it was these, these two can't airbend. Good morning, universe. Vacations. It was always just you and dad. Damn. Damn, oh, he favored him. What about the time you took us to Kiyoshi Island to ride the elephant coin? Nope. You weren't there. Kiyoshi Island, bro. Oh, remember Ember Island? Ember From Island? The palaces we built on the beach? You mean you built? Yeah, you remember you Ember Island? Place. I could have sworn. Damn, he took him to all his freaking places as a kid, bro. Yo, word. It appears my old nemesis has found me. Oh my God, boy. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Were you and me low teasing your sister again? I don't know. Boomy's a pirate, bro. Maybe. He's not a pirate. Yes, he yes. is. Look at him. Why you kids can't just get along? It's all right. Good luck, bro. Iki couldn't have gone far. Plan to take down that shark squid once and for all. Yeah! <laughs> this kid, Bo Boomy, is just as crazy as that kid, bro. They're going to be best friends. These last few days have been very troubling. Troubling? Troubling is when I get that itchy rash that won't go away and Julie's not around to scratch it. This is shocking. Nay, sickening. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't need no, nobody need to know all that shit. Need to get the recipe later. What is that going to be? Get the recipe. A ship full of halibut that's rotting. I just realized Julie isn't that the same name. A ship full of stinking fish. What the hell is he even talking about, bro? I need to sell these fish. Chief Odalock is here to help the south. He wants to show us uh, how to isn't Julie the name of that assistant so from the attacking. Earth Kingdom the only in the original I'm Avatar? In restoring is our spirit of independence. Yes, Am I right, people? <laughs> I hold immense dislike for the South. <laughs> what is with these characters, yo? What is with the season? Yeah, they remind me of Beavis and Butt, bro. I swear to God, the fucking girl versions. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a guy and a girl. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> you know, ending a relationship is kind of like pulling off a blood sucking leech. You just gotta rip it off and get it over with. You'll feel a lot better afterwards. Trust me. Thanks, Mako. This is not gonna end well. I'm lucky you're so good at breaking girls' hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you see, man, but sometimes it's funny, bro. Oh, never mind. Wait, suck a face. That would be catastrophic. So do something to stop it. We. No, Cora. This is a war only the Avatar can prevent. Oh, you always putting the responsibility on this girl. How about you do your own everybody, fucking everybody, work? This is your whole plan. The Avatar to do everything. Fights. No, but this you was his whole plan. As the Avatar, we need to learn how to be neutral in this conflict. The Legend of Korra. <laughs> well, we'll see. Um, this might not be a good legend. <laughs> this ain't gonna be a good legend. Oh, shit. Damn. Who threw those? <laughs> Damn. You wouldn't think you're tough, huh? Pick on a water gun to beat up kid. <laughs> oh shit. Here we go. The civil war begins. She hates her dad. <laughs> exactly. She was trying to find a reason to hate him. Iki. Hey, what happened to his daughter, yo? Iki, where are you? Over here, Dad. 
Just kidding. What is it's wrong me. with this guy, bro? I'm telling you, bro. Do you not realize they're trying to I find his lost daughter? On the head. Yo, I think Why Aang has uh, the gene in his family oh, for a little bit of craziness. Probably. Why do you think his kid is like that, bro? I'm guessing he's been so busy. Classic airbender technique. Cutting and running when things get tough. Uh, yeah, did dad teach you that move? Look at that well, it makes sense. I mean, he. It makes sense why Aang would favor him because he's the last. They just feel. They probably just feel that way because Aang gave him a little more attention just because he was an Airbender and he had to teach him the ways. Exactly. Marco, are you only here to be the boyfriend, bro? Like. <laughs> and and are you only here <laughs> no, no, to like? And then this other one is freaking third wheeling, or fourth wheeling, or fifth wheeling. Excuse us while we retrieve more specimens. These characters too, bro. These, all, yeah, seriously, all every, four nobody of them? has personality all in the show. All four of those characters right there the are I there for the drama. But any time I bring up the subject, she threatens to freeze me in a block of ice and feed me to dogs. It's just Piranha. relationship shit. So it was more like it's pitch black and the rocks are slippery. You're gonna hurt yourself. Come on, you wimps. If I can do it, it should be no problem for a couple of vendors. Fine. <laughs> oh, so she can actually water bend. That's cool. I mean, she looked like she could water bend. Yeah. Boomy doesn't Boomy look like. Boomy was the one, man. Boomy's like Sokka. <laughs> he mad as hell. You were right, Boomy. That was faster. At least 50 times faster, by my calculations. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up, bro. Uh, Tenzin's the funny guy now. If you need an airlift down, just say the word. Ah, I don't need your help. I've got everything under control. <laughs> Damn, he really fell. <laughs> I didn't even help him. Boomy, you idiot. <laughs> so that's a little character development for Boomy. He's kind of jealous of the uh, Dad, you benders. Your father doesn't know I mean, not really, but it's just... Laura, what's going on between you two? It's funny what's to see that? they tease him about it. I don't oh know, God. but I don't want you getting caught in the middle of it. It's too late, Mom. I'm already in the middle of it. Man. What is she saying that they brought them to the south to lie to her? What, what are you talking about? What is that about? Like she's talking about she was, oh she likes me no, all life. It's not about it's she they didn't want her to go to the northern and said that she had to stay in the southern, like pretty much lied to her, said that she couldn't go there or something like that. That was what it was. What the hell's going on? Well that's that's her dad, I think. Oh. Damn, that was cool. Oh. Oh, damn. damn. She's just beating their ass at this point. Bro, fuck just, the bending. I just love the choreography in this, in this show and animation. It's just on point. She really says just fuck the bending. Oh. Tonrock, Senna, you are under arrest and will stand trial. What the trial fuck? For, what? for conspiring to assassinate me. Oh man. Damn, see, shit just got crazy. I knew this guy was the bad guy. I told you, bro. Not just because I watched the show. Come on, man. <laughs> You've seen it. I was the one who said he was the bad guy. <laughs> nah. I was the one who made the prediction. You already knew. Alright, well, this episode wasn't much better than the last one, honestly. I thought it was a lot better, honestly. Um oh. It was a lot better. Like, they actually went over some stuff. There was, um, you know, interesting to see and kind of explain a little more about why and they were telling this whole story of, of his father or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, like, the, uh, I can see how with the, bro the brothers' differences or whatever, how they both believe in different cultures, blah, blah, blah. Um, he comes there, has, has a wife. Because my problem, too, was, like, the fact that um, her father was saying that, oh, you can't go there. This, we're not meant to be with the spirits. And he's, like, obviously knows his daughter's the Avatar, so why are you telling her this? Like, you know she's supposed to, this is, like, her destiny type shit. And you're trying to hold her back from her destiny. But then they explain, like, how the mother and father um, 
they never thought that they were thought it was going to be um the avatar they went away from the northern tribe because of their differences or whatever or her dad anyway um and mm. went to the southern tribe for a reason you know to start a family and just not be a part of that world anymore but unknowingly his daughter is the avatar now she is entwined with that that life or whatever or the northern tribe or in the spiritual side of everything so he has no choice but to accept it bro and it was cool to see i guess in that um episode how they like tied that in together a little bit so that that made me feel a little more at ease at that situation so that's good about that um there was not much action this episode but they did have a little bit of core shit in there um the fact that there there's conflict between the northern tribe and the fact that uh we also found out that um oh man what is this guy's name bro like is he even fucking important who the fucking main antagonist what's his name i don't know he obviously is important though, man. <laughs> so why can't we remember his name let's call him uncle it's fucking anyway Cora's uncle. Cora's uncle freaking uh um was explaining how he wants to open the spiritual gates in the northern tribe as well and apparently uh states that the northern and southern tribe can pretty much travel between between <sighs> tribes in a matter of seconds by yeah. opening the spirit world not only that but he said not only the northern water uh tribes but the whole world he's saying so there might be more portals in the world i mean i don't i don't think you should take that line to heart like that i think that was just more of a figure of speech as like as in we'll be connected to the world as a spirit as in the spiritual side to some shit that i think that's what sense. It, i think that's what he meant more because that wouldn't make sense what you said blah blah but anyway um connect the world different portals like, come on man portals to everywhere like that, that doesn't make sense. it's already hard to believe that the northern and southern tribe have a portal that they can both like teleport from each other blah blah, blah and well, connect we never heard of that in the original I told so far. but anyway Anything like possible the intentions of uh Korra's uncle doesn't seem like they're um necessarily nefarious intentions or whatever you know like bad intentions um but it does seem like the way he's going about it is bad and it seems like he really is um looking for power in order to combine these two nations and be in charge of these two nations is what I, is kind of like where it's headed and now since Korra brought up the whole thing about putting people on trial he decides to include his her mother and daughter i mean her mother and father in this trial as well because i guess there's some evidence that he believes they conspired against them too so it's all of it's all like a kind of a drama thing going on now between the two tribes and also what i find interesting too is um that her mother was also saying that oh this is not about it's not just about you the northern and southern tribe had problems way before you blah 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 and i thought that was interesting to bring up that fact because we do know that the northern southern tribes have been having problems you know so it's like you can't put on all the blame on her father or Korra or anybody you know because this has been going on for generations and now that Korra's in this new generation and she's a new avatar these are the freaking problems she has to deal with so, i guess so yeah. it's kind of an interesting like i think this was a better episode than last episode or at least it tied the last episode's better into it but yeah like it said it's, it's, it's still I it's guess, still all right stuff that's happening you know i mean you i guess you could say it was better but not by much for me yeah. um and, and still... in my opinion now there's not really a bigger conflict now that the the whole spirits are kind of tamed like i thought the spirits were going to be like the real big conflict in this season but it doesn't seem like that it seems just like more of a internal uh war with politics between the two nations that's what this season's looking like it's going to be you know so yeah, and then we had the whole little um, sibling trip there with. Uh, oh yeah, that as well. Yeah, the backstory and that and that's another thing, good thing I thought about this episode. That backstory was interesting as well, to know more about yeah. how they were raised and how Aang kind of they seem like they favored him, but you know I I don't think Aang favored him. I think Aang loved his kids all equally, but that's the simple fact was that Tenzin was the oh, soul the soul Airbender, bro. I we would like actually to, we would we, we would I would like to think the best of Aang, right? Exactly, but yeah. we don't know how adult Aang act exactly know? we don't know how we Aang was bro yeah like, we know he how he up. was as a kid but people change after a couple years you know so we and don't know the, how you guys adult just Aang. gotta think about it bro because Aang has always been attached to his his origin bro like he he was there for his whole entire clan being wiped out or whatever bro airbending is all he knows pretty much bro like what does that kid know besides airbending and like bending and saving the world type shit he didn't even have to have a normal childhood bro like bending is all he knows or he, airbending specifically 
he and had his culture. the little bit of childhood he had with his airbending nomads, bro. They got taken away from him. It's doesn't. It's no surprise that he would like favor Tenzin because he he wants his tribe to continue. Okay. He only had Appa. He only had Momo. All that right. Yeah. It. So the simple fact is like the hurt. Their their kids. His kids are a little jealous of Tenzin because they felt that um, Aang gave him the most attention. And also, there also is conflict between Boomy being the one, only one not being able to bend, you know? And he thinks he can do everything and tries to keep up with them. But And it's, it's funny because I didn't even know that he was the oldest. I <laughs> thought he was the youngest, honestly. Bro, and now and we just figured out now that he's the old. I thought Tenzin's old ass was the oldest. Aang must have been so disappointed, bro. His first child, not even a bet there. Yeah, for real. He had his first child, and he was like, he's like, this child's gonna be everything. And he's like, God damn it. What? He's like, he doesn't have airbending? Just name him Boomy. Mm. <laughs> you know what else, too? What? Tenzin is the youngest, right? Mm, yeah, and so. That just makes me think, bro. Aang must have kept trying until he got an airbender, bro. Once Tenzin came along, he was set. Bro, listen, three he kids is usually the, uh, the simple uh, no, amount of kids. No, but that... think about it, bro. He knew he had to carry this uh, okay, heritage all right, down, bro. All right, like, bro. He kept trying. Tenzin was the last kid. Just think anyway, about that. That's interesting. Anyway, but besides that, more about the episode. Um, we still don't know what's going on with... Um, Tenzin's daughter, she's still missing. So uh, that's another interesting factor to uh, factor in there. I wonder what's going on with that. Um, maybe his daughter's the chosen one. She's connected to the spirits as a monk. What does that even mean? What does that mean, the chosen one? Come on, man. You wouldn't know what the chosen one means if you're not the chosen one. So just there's only the, there's a handful of chosen ones. It's not just the chosen one. It's a couple dozen, but you got to be chosen. <laughs> anyway, guys. Uh, Pretty good episode. Um, you already know what time it is, guys. Uh, do the outro. Come on, man. Hurry up. Come on, man. Why don't you just do it now? All right, guys. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new here to get updated when we upload these reactions. And if you want to support us directly, you can do so by pledging $1 to our Patreon. You get the reactions earlier and in full length. Link is in the description. We also got a Twitch page. The link to that is in the description. Uh, you can go check us out and watch us play some games and do other fun stuff on live. So go check it out. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next core reaction. Take care of yourselves as always and peace. peace.